Hi, welcome back to NickStrumLessons.com. Today we're going to go over one of the coolest songs of the 70s, Ballroom Blitz. I loved this song when I was younger, uh, especially when I saw it in Wayne's World. I fell back in love with it when I recently saw it in the trailer to Suicide Squad. So, very cool song. On my site, NickStrumLessons.com, you'll see the full transcription of it. Um, from start to finish, every verse, every chorus, the intro, the outro is gone over measure by measure and full transcription. So it's available on PDF and in a JPEG form. So let's go over some of the key moments in the chart, okay? We'll start with the train beat, the infamous part um, that everybody enjoys. Now, if you're not familiar with the train beat, you'll hear it a lot in country music, you hear it a lot in rock music. And the basics of it is, you're going to do eighth notes here between two hands, right, left, right, left, right, left. Your feet are just basically walking with quarter notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The accent, the heavy part on the snare, is going to fall in line with the hi-hat. And again, between that accent and that bass drum, you're chugging along giving that train effect, okay? Especially with those tiny little ghost notes that are played around it, okay? So again, two extremes, real tiny main notes, and then the extreme accent, that gives it a really cool groove, okay? Now, what's different about Ballroom Blitz is that there's a little bit of a different accent pattern in the second measure. It's a two bar, um, um, two bar groove. So the first measure, we just went over it. The second has this accent pattern on the two and and four. Right, left, left, right are the accents, and the bass drum will follow the lefts on those. All right. Now I'm doing this with the hi hat on two and four. In the recording, you don't necessarily hear it, but I think it's a lot easier with, when you do play the two and four, especially when you're playing it alone or with the CD, sounds so much better. So go ahead and add the two and four. It's a lot easier. And again, it's just helpful because you're walking naturally anyway. All right. So with that groove, you want to perfect the dynamics and the accents of it. You also want to make sure you can be able, well, make sure you can do uh, crashes in the front. Make sure you can end it on the and of four, or sorry, the four, not the and of four. All right, a lot of fun, okay? So that's the main part. That's what gets everybody going, oh, that's ballroom blitz. When the vocals come in for the verse, you'll hear the hi-hat pattern, and the bass drum pattern is exactly the same, except for the hands are just basically going to basics. Quarter notes and two and fours. One, two, bass drum from the train beat and the same rule applies make sure you can start it with the crash and eventually know how to end it on four all right and again if you listen to the verse he just trades off back and forth between it two times each so it starts with the uh, the, the hi-hat pattern Very cool part, and that pretty much it goes over a lot of the verse and a lot of the intro. Now, the only thing that really sticks out as different in the chorus is that part where they go ballroom blitz. Well, it starts out exactly like the hi-hat pattern from the verse for the first measure. So that's easy, one, two, three, four, one. Now, he's going to set up a two, so he takes it away from the hi-hat, and then he's crashing on the and of two, the beat of four, and then back to the one. That gives you that emphasis of ballroom blitz, okay? All right, that's a great 
one to go over, all right? So there's that. That sticks out as the, something in the chorus that's a little different. Now, after the chorus, um, it loops back around, obviously, to a verse again and back to another chorus. Then there's that bass riff. Dun, 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 dun. You hear him go over to the toms and emphasize that. Now, the train beat was emphasizing twos and fours. This is going to emphasize the one, the three, sorry, the one, the three, the one, a three, four, one. So it's, a, again, a two-bar phrase. You listen to the accents. So it's still eighth notes underneath, but where he's emphasizing, it's again, the first measure, one and three, second measure, one and three, four, one. And again, the feet will follow that. So with that accent pattern. Again, it, it cycles around to same kind of train beats, but the big parts are the train beats, that hi-hat pattern, that tom pattern, and then the ballroom blitz. That's the trickiest parts about the whole song. There's two fills where he breaks um, quite often, not often, he does it the first time with just eighth notes. You'll see that in the transcription where he just breaks free of the train beat, stops on the bass drum on one, but he's just plowing through with eighth notes with a crescendo. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and it stops on four. Later in the song there's another fill where again it starts out with eighth notes but he goes to these epic sixteenth notes which sound faster than really what they look like on paper. How I've always done that is just clean doubles all the way to the four. So you've got Very effective, very effective, a lot of fun, okay? So that's the key moments in Ballroom Blitz. Have fun with it, learn the individual grooves and then tie it all together, put the headphones on or hopefully your band's covering it um, and fall in love with that song. That is a killer, killer groove, some killer grooves in that song. So again, you'll find the full transcription at nickstromlessons.com. If you have any questions, let me know. Have fun with Ballroom Blitz. See you next time.